Okay, so the AvaMedia LGP Lite is an amazing value for money gadget that lets you record your console gameplay to create Let's Play and tutorial videos for YouTube. But in common with any device that's relying on your computer to store that data, it's important take a f to take a few steps to make sure there aren't any audio or video sync problems. With that amount of information being handed to your computer, your computer must be working at its best. So let's look at my top 10 tips for glitch free recording. The first thing would be make sure your computer or laptop is up to spec before you buy. So do a quick Google search for LGP Lite or go to the uh, avamedia.com site. Look at the specifications for the LGP Lite. Scroll down to the bottom and what you should see is the uh, minimum uh, hardware requirements. So what the LGP Lite needs is an Intel Core Duo 2.8 gigahertz or an AMD Athlon 64X2 dual core 3 gigahertz. We're all with at least two gigabytes of RAM and at least the VGA card, which most laptops and computers would have. So as long as you've got those, you're pretty much good to go to, to do your basic uh, recording. Next up, you want to make sure that you clear space on your hard drive. So again, go into your... Um, your uh, file explorer look at your hard drive how much space have you got do you need to clear some space you know empty the recycle bin get rid of um, old uh, programs and application form application forms applications run the disk cleanup run the disk frag i like to keep about half of my uh, hard disk free because it will just record a lot better um, another really important thing perform a fresh restart before you start a recording session so by that i mean you know go into the power and do a restart now you don't have to do this every time you, you start recording during a day but i would say at least at, at the beginning of the day don't just turn your computer on and let it come out of hibernation do a restart to do that and kind of to go on with that as well make sure you shut down unnecessary programs so anything that's running in the background shut it down any apps as well or if you go into your um, uh, system tray, if there's any processes that you don't need running, shut those off as well because you don't want them to slow things down. Now on laptops as well, look at your power settings. So go into power options and just check you're on the highest system. For example, I run system mechanics. I've got to make sure it's on ultra performance and not on power saver or endurance or anything like that. And obviously make sure that your laptop is running off the power supply and not just the battery. Another thing to do is put your laptop into flight mode or um, airport mode that way it will disconnect from the internet and speed up that way as well if you've got a um, desktop pc just disconnect it from the internet that way another thing back over on the ava media site make sure you've got the latest version of the software the latest application of recentral with the latest drivers as well to make sure you haven't got any problems with that and sort of hand in hand with that and go into your device manager and make sure that you've got the latest drivers for your graphics card. So right click update driver software and you can make sure that's good as well. Record at a sensible quality level. So, you know, if you're recording for YouTube from an Xbox 360, 720p at 12 megabits per second is more than good enough. It really is. That will give you great quality to watch. And remember when you do start recording, when you hit that big red button, with a blue light around it on the uh, LGP light, minimize the software. You don't want your laptop or your computer trying to render the screen as well as recording everything. And finally, I would always say record in small chunks, one game at a time. Don't do sort of several games in one go to record like a couple of hours worth. Just record sort of 10, 15 minutes at a go, stop, and then start again. So there we go, they're my top 10 hints and tips for having glitch-free, audio problem-free recording with your LGP Lite. Watch out for a video coming soon on my channel about how to fix video that's got glitches and out of sync audio. And uh, if you've subscribed, you'll make sure you uh, get to see that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.